All right, everyone, welcome to the year end episode of Terra Crave. We are your joyful hosts for the evening. I'm here with Jason Butler. Jason, my friend, good day to you, sir. What's going on, Lee? How you doing, man? I'm doing well. And as always, I am Lee. I think I'm always Lee. Well, I think I have a name. Yeah, so usually. Wrong, right? No, usually. Usually Lee? Usually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, today's a Wednesday. Yep, I go by Lee today. All yeah. right. <laughs> How's everybody doing out there? I hope everyone has had a fantastic holiday. We are still in the midst of it, of course. Uh, Jason, how was yours, man? It was very good. Very good. I'm on a little vacation now and uh, that kind of kicked it off and it was a good Christmas and it was good. So it was, it was right. good. It's still going good. How was your Christmas? Still going good. It was great, man. We had a fantastic time. Of course, we were up at the crack of dawn or a little bit past that 6 30 AM. I was awoken. I was like, as the kids get older, I thought they slept just a tad bit longer, but I still am in that midst, I guess. Uh, yeah. We were up and at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's we were up and at him, man. Yeah. That's how my youngest has gone from, you know, like uh, action figures and, you know, different things like that to more electronics and, you know, more expensive toys for Santa. You I know. know. <laughs> exactly. So yep, hard yep. to find items. You know, when, when your kid is just getting into like Pokemon and things like that. And of course, he wants the, the Charizard. 500 power whatever and <laughs> yeah and then the hunt is on the hunt is yeah. on right yeah, yeah and dude. that that's like an ebay bid you know take out a, a second mortgage type item but yeah <laughs> yeah man as you're you got you pick up a good point though i guess as they do get older the tickets the prices so those ticket items yeah. get just a little yeah. higher you know what i mean a we lot the extra figures to the electronics as you stated yeah but yeah dude i had a question man. i gotta bring this up and then we'll jump into it do santa wrap or are santa's gifts wrapped or unwrapped um ours are wrapped when he when he drops them off here they're wrapped when i was growing up um i, I don't think they were wrapped but i you know how about at your house um i as well when i was growing up gifts from santa were unwrapped gifts from mom and dad were wrapped yeah yeah and santa's gifts were in their own little section of the display was perfect and all of that stuff sure. you know but um um i tried to keep that same uh keep that alive with my family and my wife quickly after three years of giving it a dry run she said no so since then we've been uh santa's gifts have been wrapped uh, yeah all the time so i'm just curious i always like to run that little ask yeah. that question during the holidays um and i find out the majority of people actually skips are wraps. yeah so yeah i get it, more else, Different i guess people. yeah yeah, yeah. right more else. <laughs> well good guys we hope you all had a fantastic holiday what this episode is going to be about we thought we kind of go back throughout the past 12 months and talk about some of the favorite horror movies that we've watched that debuted here in 2021 yeah and, and there's been a lot of um sequels to uh some older franchises that came out this year and um some for next year too we'll talk we'll we'll touch on that in a little bit but um mm -hmm. i know i know one of your favorite uh franchises the paranormal experience paranormal activity with next of kin that came out and that was a good movie i like that what'd you think of that one it was fantastic. We talked about that when it, when it first came out. It definitely is one of my favorites of 2021. I am, as you guys know, a huge fan of that series. I think that this one, uh, it, 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 it was takes it in a whole different direction. It's, you know, it, it takes the franchise in a totally different direction. No ties whatsoever, it seems like, to the original. But I really enjoyed it, man. And, and it's definitely yeah. on my list of top 2021. Yeah. Uh, or, I'm sorry, yeah. top 2021 films, for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it was a good movie. I, I thought it, I don't know if it felt rushed towards the end of it or the ending was just a little bit off for me. But, you know, I can say this much. When they were lowering her into that well, I was like, man, that, that, that girl's crazy. Who would... <laughs> nobody would do that i gotta see no you don't this, I why know, would you do you that know. oh they're throwing you know animals down there for this thing to feed let me see what's down there no yeah yeah exactly but it was good well, i gotta 
that, that part, yes. I, but then again, we are watching the horror films. And as if we learned nothing in Scream, uh, <laughs> what Randy <laughs> told us in the original Scream is that everybody makes those bad decisions within the horror films. They definitely do. Even ones, even ones that are mocking the horror films, as many of those people in Scream did as well. But I digress. Yeah, I digress. yeah. No, and, and yeah. now uh, what about uh, another one of your favorite franchises, The Conjuring? The Devil Made Me Do It. That was good. Yes, that was really good when I enjoyed that one as well. But I would say, and if we harken back to what I said, I feel like that was the le- it was good. I enjoyed it, but it felt like more of a crime thriller with horror supernatural aspects. It, it, yeah. it went in a different direction as the other uh, two films. Yeah, did, in my opinion, in my opinion, I still enjoyed it, but it do- I don't hold that in quite the light as I do the Conjuring. Well, I can, the I'll first, agree with the that. first two films. I'll agree with that. Yeah. It was a, it was a yeah. good story, a couple of good jump scares, but I agree with that. Kind of more like a uh, true detective type thing. I agree. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So again, I enjoyed it, but yeah, it was slightly different. Um, so yeah, you know, you, you said in the beginning there were some great ones that came out, sequels and stuff like that that continued on the story. Uh, one of the last ones that came out here in the latter few months was Halloween. Halloween yeah. Kills yeah um we 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 did we talked about that when we reviewed it not too long ago on, on one of our shows um and i think we all agree that if you haven't seen that one yet unfortunately i did go back to kind of revisit it a few days ago it is no longer on peacock for free uh oh. they have re- they have removed it uh so i would say you probably have to rent it now it's probably time for it to come out on rental yeah. or something that's what they're trying to take away from give it about a month but, it'll be back on something free it will probably hopefully but no yeah. i thought that was another great addition to this franchise you know we've talked about how this one's been revitalized uh you know with, with halloween that came out three years ago and mm-hmm. i can't wait to see what they do with the third one because i thought this was another solid addition yeah yeah and then um a couple of other ones just real quick and we don't we won't go over them too much but don't don't breathe too a quiet place too which was actually i just watched a quiet place too i hadn't seen it yet and i thought that was really good you had a uh, yeah. spiral from Saul. That's the one with yep. uh, Chris Rock, right? I Chris haven't Rock, watched that one yet. M. Jackson. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, another wrong turn. Um, what else was it? There was another one too that was a. Uh, maybe that was all of them that were kind of. Oh, no, that was a TV series. We can touch on those in a minute too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, you, you mentioned some great ones there. I enjoyed the wrong turn. It was not a, a sequel, it was a reboot. Um, almost, you know, to, to the other films. And it, it took it in a totally different direction, uh, you know, more of about the community that was in the woods, in the West Virginia woods and all of that. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Solid addition to it. Great, good call. Uh, the other ones you mentioned were, I have not seen Don't Breathe 2. That one I, I haven't watched that one, one. No. Yeah, so hey, man, maybe we need to jump on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe we have one of the more shows we speak about. But I think that was a different twist because it looked like they, he became more of a hero. <laughs> yeah, uh, Again, yeah. we need to film. Maybe there's a twist it's, takes him back into the villain but the the looks like the main character from that was start putting more of a hero heroic yeah. light or anti-heroic light as we speak yeah so i'm looking forward to that yeah and then um let's see uh what about army of the dead i thought that was great i like army, army of the, the dead. dead army of the dead was a fantastic new franchise starter man that yeah. kicked off done by zach snyder uh that looks great and that was just the beginning of a of a, a new line of films that i can't yeah. wait to see where you know i can't wait to see what world he builds and since yeah. that's come out they already had army of thieves, army of thieves yeah. which was a slightly different one prequel where it was just the zombies outbreak was happening but it was on the outskirts peripherally you kept seeing news reports and stuff like that about it yeah but it was all yeah. about uh the german uh safe cracker it was i thought that was a, a good, good prequel as well yeah, yeah. not, yeah. not really you... quite horror more of a crime a thriller action adventure yeah. we're talking about um, good, army of thieves but it was still good army yeah. of the dead fantastic and i can't wait to see the true sequel to that film now. yeah that'll be good um did you watch a quiet place too i saw yes um i saw most of it yeah <laughs> it <laughs> I was need good to finish that film. yeah it's yeah. a good movie it's um I, i'd say i love know, the beginning of one, it how i know man how they yeah the beginning yeah. was a great to see how it all went down just a nice regular day at the baseball game and then yeah. you know in a, in a quiet town and then it just boom kicked off and it was awesome yeah 
Yeah. Well, that uh, let's see. I think that's uh, and there's a bunch of other ones that came out that I didn't put on my list. But well, Malignant. Remember Malignant? We watched that one. And I was going to bring that one up. I thought okay. Malignant was actually really good. Again, um, once you realize what's happening, it takes. A, I mean, it was just, it was outlandish and crazy, but I loved it. <laughs> Berserker mood. I I think I liked that one better than you did. I think because that yeah. one, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I, I liked it up little. till towards almost the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah other yeah. than that I'm, yeah i thought it was going a different way but uh, last i talked to that might be getting a sequel too i mean you know so we'll see what happens with that um, it probably will uh blood red sky with the lady that's blood a vampire on the planet. that was i that thought that was good was really good i did want to bring that one up i'm glad you did that was debuted on netflix it was a german film and it was great, man. I mean, I actually didn't see. It's almost like Die Hard on the plane with vampires yeah. at a certain point. You know what I mean? Uh, or, or I guess Passenger Fifty Seven, if you wanted to go. <laughs> you know, <laughs> always metal black. You know. Yeah. But, I like uh, that so much. <laughs> yeah, but no, um, that was really good. I thought that was a great one. If you guys haven't seen that, please go check it out because yeah. that's a really, really good movie. Yeah, that's a good creepy one. That's a good one. And, uh, it really v- is. VHS had a new movie. Uh, it was actually takes place. Uh, the films are in. If you're familiar with VHS, it's a a bunch of different films that they're watching on a VHS. Uh, but they had one called '94, which takes place in '94. Or five different little short stories, but really good. Um, let's see, Forever Purge, another Purge movie that came. I need out. to check that one out. That's I haven't list. watched it, man. I like the first couple of Purges, but dang. I don't know. How... Have they lost you? Well, where did they lose you? Where did they lose you? Um, probably after the second one. And there was. Oh, wow. it, okay. What, what would forever? I watched the TV show. I like the TV show. Okay. Did you see that? That I have not watched. I have not watched the show. But you and other people that I hold in high esteem of, of their thoughts Ooh. of television have, have pushed me in that direction. So that will be one that I do check out. Yeah, that's a good one. It's good. Yeah. Um. I just, I don't know. How many of those movies are there? Five now? Um, I think so. I'm not 100%, but I know that the last one was called, the one before the Forever Purge, as you just mentioned, was called the last, or no, oh, the first Liber- Purge. Oh, oh, no, you know, I didn't see that it was one. A, I like that It one. was a yeah. prequel. had Marissa Tomei in it. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, that was what I... It, you know, the first Purge was a prequel that came out in 2018, I believe, and I thought that one was really good. So yeah, I've seen, like I've seen all of the Purge movies, um, except for the last one. Wasn't there one called Liberty or there was something? one called The Election Year? Yeah, uh, that came out in yeah. 2016. Anarchy okay. was 2014. The first Purge was 2013. I'm oh, sorry, I say the first Purge meaning Purge came out well, in 2013, and then the first Purge was 2018. So I guess I, I guess they didn't before. lose me because I've seen all of those and liked those and <laughs> now I gotta um, watch Forever yeah. Purge. Yeah, the Forever Purge is the last. The, counting the Forever Purge has been five films. Okay. Um, with the first one that kicked off in uh, 2013. So okay. yeah, yeah. Um, and I've yeah. enjoyed that series. I just need to see the the, the, the last one, the Forever Purge. Yeah. There's also a group of films since we're talking about sequels and things like that that came out this summer that I thought did a great job of, you know, uh, it was basically a trilogy of films that were released weekly. And we're talking about the Fear Street trilogy. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, I thought that one was really good. Uh, that's a straight sequel, I mean, I'm sorry, straight trilogy that if you're ready to watch or binge some, some good horror films here for the end of the year, check that's those right. out if you haven't already. Yeah, um, and that's R.L. Really Stein. Good. So, you know, if you it like is. Goosebumps, <laughs> And now you're grown up because these are definitely like the grown up version. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit more adult oriented, a lot more violence than what you would find in goosebumps and things like that. Um, but no, it, and it takes take place in 94, 70, 1994, 1978, and 1666. Yeah. Uh, that's the order of the films as they were released. Uh, check it out, man, especially it's 1978, which takes us back to the, what would say, some say the heyday or the glory days of horror. Yeah, seventies, eighties, early themed horror films where a lot of stuff was set at the camps, summer camps, and things like that. I thought that one was probably the best. Uh, I enjoyed all three of them. I think that was probably the best um, out of the three. 
What well, it started it's with uh, what 84, then 78, 94. 1994. 94. 94. Yeah, 1994, then 1978, and then 60 and 66. Okay. Um, let's be a little bit more between now. Check them out if you haven't already. Yeah. And then um, what was it of American Horror Stories? You know, yes. their little anthology version. But uh, I actually, I liked that one. Um, I know I complained about one of the actors in the, like, in the first episode. Um, yes, you were not a fan of Julia, uh, I'm sorry, Crawford. Julia Crawford's daughter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she, she didn't quite come off as believable. Um, I yeah, guess is what we're the word. Yeah, because I was like, well, uh, you can Kaya, see that you're Kaya name Jordan you Gerber. Yeah, All right. Kaya Jordan Gerber was the actress's name, but she um, redeemed she herself. Really, 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 <laughs> yeah, in American Horror Story. Yeah, that's right. I was trying to remember where, if it was part of that, but it was actually the actual TV show American Horror Story. So, yeah, and, where uh, she played the abduction by aliens. Yeah. And all of yeah. That. I like that. I like both of the, you know, what was it? Um, oh, shoot. What were Red the Blood, of Red Tide, Red Tide, yeah, Red Tide, and, De and Death Valley. Yeah, yeah. Those were good, but Death Valley kind of, I don't know. I, I don't, I think we both agreed that, that wasn't, yeah. That, that could have been like really a rushed. whole season and they did it in a few episodes. Wasn't it four? Or am I rushing? Four. No, four. I think it was four episodes where yeah. that was just like done really quickly. How many did uh, Red Tide have? They had Six. more than four. Okay. So they usually run for 10, and this yeah. season was split into two. And instead of giving them each five episodes and splitting them up, Red Tide got six. And uh, and uh, that's why I got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think uh, if I had to choose the best um, TV series of the year, I think it would have been Chucky. Yeah, man. Um, we have spoken quite a lot about that here over the past few weeks that you know it was a, a latter part latter series that ran in the end of the year fantastic we really really enjoyed it i think i enjoyed it just because the bar had been set low <laughs> for this from my experience from those films but uh but still you know guys check that one out like we said before that one is available on peacock i'll point you in the right direction check it yeah, out yeah yeah and a second season coming up next year so that's good yeah, yeah for sure man yeah so um I guess, Lee, if there's uh, quite a few good ones coming up for next year, too. Yeah. Um, well, uh, let's see. Jordan Peele has a new one called Nope Out. That one's very, they're not really telling anything about that one. They just showed like some cover art and it's just like a, this big cloud mass. You think it's aliens? That's what I think it's going to be something with aliens. That's kind of what they've insinuated that it might be. Um, and you're right. His movies are always clouded with mystery you know, yeah. before, it's, before they arrive. Um, and I, and I love the titles of them all too. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I saw. No, I was like, nope. Yeah, I could just yeah. imagine like somebody running out of the woods and seeing that and going, nope, nope. and running back into. You know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. that's it. Have yeah. you enjoyed all of his films, man? I, enjoyed... Yeah, I like him a lot. I like him a lot. And you know, um, us and and, that, and nope, yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't um say us, you know, for the uh, TV series. Man, that was a great series. That was them. 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 Yes. Yeah. Them. I get them. that mixed up all the time. That was, that came out in the spring of last year. Again, if you guys are looking for another great horror show to binge, it it is, it is really good, scary, creepy. But a lot of the creep factor comes from just the people and the, yeah, time, was, frame, the time place that it took in the 50s. Yeah, dis disturbing. 60s. And a lot of uh, the disturbing parts aren't just the, uh, the well, storyline right yeah the it's the yeah. real story um real story that many people had to live through back in the day for real yeah and who would the tap dance man dude <laughs> talk about creepy man yeah what you gonna do <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I, that's all i could think about just seeing that dude in the corner for probably about a month after that know, which would be cool know yeah <laughs> well i don't know well yeah that's true <laughs> you and i might have a different <laughs> yeah. opinion of what it's absolutely terrifying i'll just yeah. put it that way <laughs> yeah 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 never mind i wouldn't want to see more <laughs> um I, another one that i'm i'm pretty anxious to see is the new scream movie that's coming out that's coming out next month in january it does early january yeah that's gonna mm -hmm. be really good 
And I think there's going to be a lot of callbacks to previous. I, I, I just think it's going to be a lot of, you know, I, I you know, we could actually see, uh, I, I think Skeet Ulrich is dead, right? From the very yeah. first movie. Yeah. I, I, I think they, but Randy, I'm sorry, Randy wasn't his name. Um, the He's other talking his, about Shaggy? His, his cohort, yeah. His, his you know, uh, cohort. I, his, I can't I remember his name, but I think we could possibly see one of those two again. Yeah. You know, I, I think something tells me that we will. Um, I think so. or, or maybe their children. Somehow, I think those guys will be part of it. I just don't ask well, me how. I, so, I hope that they do make it kind of about the, the people from the past, but I hope they don't do a lot of like, you know, going back to what was behind. I hope they build up a new story for it or whatever, but I think it I will. Good balance. I, yeah, I, I agree. Um, and I was trying to remember Skeet Ulrich's character's name was Billy. And then you mentioned Shaggy. That was Matthew yeah. Lillard. He yeah. played Stuart. Um, I the think he might come back. The first film. That's what I was referring to. I think Stuart yeah. might actually, even, you know, maybe they'll show him still in jail. They'll maybe have to go ask him a couple of questions. So maybe he's still, you know, dealing with life in prison or whatever it is. But I think we'll see some type of reference to either his some something some relative yeah. or I, I think that's my maybe they he Batman. gets out of jail and uh that's who they think's doing the killing maybe you never know but it's not him yep it's velma it's <laughs> yeah uh texas chainsaw massacre that's coming out i believe next month too right on but that's coming straight to netflix is that next is month it, or is it january or february for some reason i think it's february yeah maybe february yeah and that takes place after the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 74, was it, I think? Yep. Again, one of those movies where they are acting like, which they've done before, where they just say, this is just, this is the sequel to the first movie. Oh, okay, five years later. Never mind. Never mind that sequel to the first this movie. This is, is the sequel yeah. to the first movie. Oh, wait, no, it's uh, a prequel. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. And then the next one's going to be a sequel. So yeah. we'll skip the first one altogether. Yeah. But February remember the third? Yeah, yeah, so you're so right. That's how it's going to be. But yeah, that comes out in February on Netflix, which is going to be good. Looking forward yeah. to that. We'll, we'll definitely be reviewing that one, um, guys. So be on the lookout for, for that. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good stuff coming yeah. up. Hellraiser, another Hellraiser movie. And I think that's the one I'm not sure about because they have a, it's a, a girl playing Pinhead. And um, I don't know how yeah. that's going to work out. If I don't know, maybe Pinhead is just like a, uh, anybody can be pinhead but they never made it seem that way no but we'll see morbius they're shocking they're they're trying to make that marvel movie look more like a horror movie like it, it'll come up in like uh upcoming horror films and uh may i mean i know he's i know what the story's about and everything but marvel's gonna have to get pretty daggone dark to make this thing i don't even know why that would come up under a horror movie though um, well, I guess because it's a vampire, it's kind of a vampire aspect to it. But, you know, I think it's going to be more of an action adventure with some horror tendencies. It's kind of like a Blade. Yeah. Um, but, but nowhere near as hard as Blade because it's going to be... Maybe like Spawn? Speed. Yeah, How yeah. Spawn but even was? Spawn was rated R, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and maybe I'm wrong about that. It's been a while, but I, I know Blade's films were... This is going to be PG-13, so won't be oh, so quite be. as tough as those, but I think that's the, you know, type of yeah. aspect or genre I think they're leading to. Yeah. There was one that was going to come out very soon early in the year called The Black Phone. Oh, and yeah. I know you and I were all excited about with Ethan Hawke. He was working with uh, Scott Derrickson again from um, the Sinister Films. Yeah. And of course, now it's been uh, Scott, Scott Derrickson is directing it. It's been pushed back a few months. So it's coming yeah, out. Like the April yeah, like that. April Yeah. June. June now, I think. June. Um, hmm. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll schedule for January at one point. But uh, but I'm still looking, I'm looking forward to that. I think that's gonna be really it was supposed to be out in February, but now it's June. Maybe they didn't like the ending or something. They had to pull Who it. No, yeah, but gonna be good. Looking forward to that. It's gonna be really terrifying. Oh, what about uh Salem's Lot? Uh, Salem's they're redoing Lot. Salem's Lot. So and it looks like I, I guess it's just gonna be a movie. They're just I you think know so. Because it was a made-for-TV movie when we were growing up. The Stephen King one was a miniseries. Yes, it was yeah. indeed. Star, so, starring Hutch, Starsky and Hutch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> David, David Soul, David Soul. Yeah, that's the, right. Uh, yeah. Well, 
I want to, I guess they'll do it as a movie. They can do it as a movie. I guess they did it. So, you know, you brought up Salem's Lot. I got to ask you, did you ever see the remake they did about 20 years ago now, 15 years ago with Rob Lowe as the main character? Um, I do believe I did. I, I like Rob Lowe. I think that's why I watched it because of Rob Lowe and it was Salem's Lot. But it, for some reason, I kind of struck it from my memory. So it must not have been. It was, it was decent. It was a T, I think it was a made for, I think it was TNT. Oh, no. it, yeah. I think TNT at one point was doing a little run of, of Stephen King stuff in the yeah. early 2000s. Um, it, it just occurred to me because I we hadn't really talked about that. You know, what we need to do uh, do is do a show where we compare um, the originals, originals to remakes. Because you could do that. Well, online. that's yeah. That you could do that with a lot of them now. Yeah. All the way down exactly. to it. Yeah. Or any, any of the other franchises: Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, um, for sure. That'd be a fun little show to do. We're going to do two parts. Yeah. And uh, let's see, Orphan has a new movie coming out. They do. They do, which I think this is a prequel. Yeah. And and the girl looks exactly the same, man. Yeah. Have you does. seen any of the trailers? It's, it's pretty amazing that she still looks the same because that Orphan came out a long time ago. Yeah. Orphan came out like 2010, maybe. Um, yeah. But yeah, she Boy, it's been quite a while, and she is still, yeah, on all the nine or ten year old girl. Two thousand nine, two thousand nine yeah. is that? Movie, yeah, eleven years. She was on a SVU um, episode one time. The girl. From you Oregon. recognize? You yeah, recognize? Yeah, well, she she was playing like the same type of deal where she was trying to act like she was younger than she was. Oh, really? Yeah, it was almost the same story. It was like SVU, the you know the whoever it is, the writer or whatever was sitting there watching Orphan and said, you know what? Cha-ching. I can do that on, on. <laughs> There's, It's just like the same kind of story. Yeah. Like, oh well, she God. can't be. She's only such and such. And she was from Russia, too. Yep. And wow, the, so I think it was, was the same. Yeah, it was the same thing. So, anyway, uh, Evil Dead Rises. Um, that uh, is not going to have Ash in it. Um, yeah. it. The story, it looks like, is uh, two girls find the book and uh, they haven't said a whole lot about it, but maybe it's going to start another little franchise or keep the franchise going with two. I, I just wonder if they're going to do it like um, the evil dead remake that they made a few years ago, which I loved. I was so mad when I heard that they were coming out with that and Bruce Campbell wasn't going to be in it. And, you know, I was fit to be tied, man. Uh, but you were, but you were taking it, but you were like, I surprised. loved it, man. I loved it. It was so gory, man. You know me. It that thing was when the girl is has that razor knife and licks it. Oh, and, Jesus. Yeah. dude, I, I just said, man, this, you know, that's awesome. I liked it a lot. And yeah. Bruce Campbell liked it. And then he had his own little thing on, uh, what was it on HBO or what was that on HBO? Evil Dead versus Ash with stars. Oh, okay okay yeah and and that well, was good the first couple seasons but you can't for, forget that bruce campbell did have that small cameo at the end of that evil dead film he did oh uh, where i think he said groovy or something like that with yeah the microphone, or he was the narrator was talking about something yeah, yeah. He, he's, so he yeah that's a little support behind it yeah but but this new one he gives it all his support he's all for it uh he said he's too old to play ash now so I, I think it'll be good. I just wonder if they're going to make it like how the Evil Dead remake was or make it more like kind of like cult classic comic type uh, as the original, you know, Evil Dead and Army of Darkness and all that. Uh, uh, we'll uh, see. Yeah. Maybe a mixture. Could be. Could be, but yeah. should be very interesting. You're right. There's a lot yeah. of stuff coming out here in this a lot of remakes and stuff like that. I hadn't realized that. I forgot about the Evil Dead one. Good call. Yeah, yeah. Hocus Pocus too. It's Hocus horror, Pocus too. Hey, watching. it's in the horror comedy yeah. genre, probably in some way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Got all three it. girls like back: Hocus Ben Miller, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy and Jimmy. So yeah, they're all back. Yeah. You know, that's pretty cool. I, I, well, I less like makeup to that. make them look older. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> yeah. And oh, uh, of course, Stranger Things the series comes back out finally. I wouldn't doubt if they pushed it again. These kids no. are going to be like, you know, like 40 some years old. Hey, I turn 17 tomorrow. <laughs> it's crazy. They're still, they're not even that old. They're probably what, 15 or 16 now? Yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. no, I think they might be actually close to 18. I'll probably, huh. I think that's probably true. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, and uh, Walking Dead's final season or the second half of the last season. And yeah. uh, then Fear of the Fear of the Walking Dead. Still nothing on the Rick movies. They're, I don't know if they're coming out this year or. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Maybe in the fall. We'll see. Maybe there'll be some announcements. Well, hopefully the they don't put it off too. They shouldn't put it off too long, man. I think they'll at least well, like lead I said, up it's to been it three and, years since he's been golfing the show. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, or at least two, no, three for sure. Yeah, I just say it, I I don't know. I you would think that hurts a franchise when they build it up like that and and then they announce that okay, well, don't get too upset. We're going to do three movies with this guy, and you're like, yeah. And then three years later, you're like, so when are they coming out? Exactly. I mean, you, you lose interest in stuff like that. Just stranger things. I hope they do as well. I mean, I'll be watching it, but I, I love the first seasons of this thing. And then this one, it's just felt like we've been waiting, what, four years for this. Yeah. Basically. It's crazy, man. Crazy. It is for sure. It is. <clears throat> so all good stuff, man. Lots of good yeah. stuff. Yeah. And um, uh, more films from BT Haunts coming out. Yes, indeed. We got a lot of good stuff, guys. And again, thank you guys. uh, You brought that up, so I got to take this moment to say thank you guys for who have been supporting it. We're, you know, we've got a a high number of views, and we just thank you so much for your support and appreciate you guys watching it and sharing it and all of that. So, yeah. um, And as Jason just said, we got a lot more coming up. So, yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, there's still a lot up in these sick and twisted minds. So, (laughs) a lot more to come. Um, Yeah, man. Do you have any uh, resolutions for this year? Don't do anything crazy. Uh, oh, you know, to, I've got to get back in shape. And I gave up on that a long time ago. Well, if I were to say that, I would remove the back part of it and just say I need to get in shape <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, I, you know? I was listening to two of my sons and they they lift weights and they're, yeah, you know, man, if I could get to like 240, I'd be happy. And I was like, yeah, me too, man. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, no, but no, no, no. Just try to stay, stay healthy. You know, and what we, we uh, hopefully that all you guys can because numbers are going crazy these days yeah. and everything else. But we're, that's what we're trying to do. Just want to stay healthy and prosperous in the new year, my friend. That's what I'm. Yeah. 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 If if I had to name a a true resin resin resonation. <laughs> um <laughs> if if i had to say something i'd probably say that i'd like to get in um six more of the horror shorts that we do this year i'd like okay. to get six more of those filmed this year and uh of course the uh more work on joe and um halloween night but that's gonna be a three-part series we have, we'll talk about that some other time that's a indeed a good one it's great stuff you guys will be looking forward to for sure, but yeah, those are. Um, I, and I, I, you know what? I back that uh, resolution. Let's let's knock out six more of those, and that's not counting Halloween night, is it? No, no. Uh-uh. Ooh, we gonna be busy. We're yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And whatever yeah, your salary is now, double it. Oh wow! Man, that's... I'm, I'm feeling very generous. You're fantastic, man. You're a good. Yeah, man. You're a good. You're a good. You're a good dude. I gotta say that. Thank man. you. And that's for all the actors. Oh wow, guys. Yeah. All right, we got a little tape. We got a little tape. So we <laughs> yeah. see the one map, and then, oh, yeah, it actually looks the same as what I'm getting. But right uh, now. the best part, <laughs> it doesn't affect your taxes at all, though. That's oh, the best exactly. Part of it. <laughs> right. But, yeah. Oh man, I'm looking well, out for you. You're a good man. Like I said, I can't can say it yeah. enough. Well, guys, we've talked about a lot of the good movies that we've really enjoyed. Um, and what we're looking forward to. We want to leave you on a note to say that if you are looking, if you're still in the holiday cheer, holiday mood, you know, whether it's a few days afterwards, I, Jason and I saw, a, this didn't come out in 2021, hmm. came out a couple years ago, but it's, we just watched it uh, the past few days. Better watch out. Yeah. It's a That's... good holiday themed Christmas movie dare i yeah. say <laughs> yeah it's it's in christmas tree is up there's yeah. a christmas tree up <laughs> yep yeah. there's a christmas tree up yeah indeed with some carolers oh yeah the carolers that's there's right there's a lot of there's some carolers that are coming through oh, i like the carol- movie you like it I, I thought it was good man good twist 
I liked it a lot. Um, we, you know, we were trying to find a little something different to watch one night while we were up wrapping gifts. And I told Cindy, I was like, what about this one? You know, it, it, uh, I come across it somewhere and hadn't heard anybody talk about it. Check it out, man. And that was like, we both thought it was great. A lot of times I put on some of my choices and Cindy's like, you know. <laughs> well, what? you never know. You never know. Well, I mean, sometimes it's a good. great cover, but, you know, yeah. a great picture. And the story <laughs> yeah. looks good and um i said a great cover like i'm at the blockbuster hey look at this one. <laughs> um i guess just great artistry that they they showed yeah. but um no you said it was good so i i checked it out and i thought it was a good movie it was it was yeah. a good fun movie horror movie it was yeah so some of it you know a little bit of gore but a, definitely a good story yeah lots of twists that she i didn't see coming up at, at certain points um, yeah so check that one out and if you're just looking for something fun you can't take too seriously also check out santa jaws <laughs> i thought you were gonna say like uh santa slays or, or no Sa no Night. you went all the way to the santa jaws. i did because i also watched that one recently uh it is a fun stupid horror comedy yeah. Uh, but you know, if you're a fan of which we are here in this household, we love like shark films. Yeah, and, Sharknado you know, films, you know, not well, not like I, Jaws, but Sharknado. I, 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 yeah, any type of like fun little sci-fi yeah. trashy flick like that. Uh, we came across it on Amazon Prime. We watched it, and it kept our attention, and we laughed at it, and we just had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, um, it's it's a, it's it's fun. Again, nothing yeah. to bring home any awards, but it's a fun little horror comedy to check yeah. out. If yeah. Terribly terrific. Are, terribly terrific. There you go. Yes. There you go. But uh, yeah, man. So that's it. We just wanted to leave you on a couple uh, high notes of, of some films that we've enjoyed over 2021. If you're looking to, to catch some of those here before the end of the year, mm -hmm. please do let us know what you guys think about it. You know, if you, if you guys enjoyed it or if you're like, what is this chaos, crazy stuff you had me watching? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So just yeah. Let, let us know that as well, guys. We'd be more than happy yeah. to hear from you. And don't forget, you know, Charles Dickens' The Christmas Carol is the original paranormal activity movie. Yep, there you go. Very good yeah. point. Yes, you're absolutely right. I mean, yeah. who doesn't want to be visited by three ghosts throughout the evening? It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. No, nobody does. So, all right. No. Sorry, God. I forgot where no. you were. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, cool, man. I think we've said it all, Jason. Am I missing anything? No, I think it's, I think that's all. I hope everyone has a, a very safe and happy new year and uh, spend time with your family and um, just take it easy. Exactly. Really? I second all of that, guys. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Spend that time with the family and stay safe and healthy. Yep.